December the 5th, 2009. Ow. That really is the question. I would first like to thank again everyone who's watched these webcasts and those of you who have commented on them privately and publicly. You can post your pi your comments publicly. I'm I'm going to let them fly. I got uh, some comments this time that weren't quite they weren't negative but they weren't positive either. I was challenged to go and um, if I really cared about veterans I would go do this and I would go do that and about the H1N1 conspiracy. I really do care about veterans. A lot more than probably anyone you know. With my wallet, not with my life or arms and legs or limbs, but, but I paid the price too. And if I was still in health care, I would be doing a lot more for veterans and our elderly than I am doing today. I thought about whether or not I was going to reply to this person because it was a private email. I decided to do so even though I, I didn't want to I didn't want to get into a fight with anyone about their views or my views or, or whatever. I, I put them out there to entertain mostly. Uh, this is an investment webcast, and it's mostly about investments, whether that be today it's the stock market, tomorrow it could be real estate again, but it's whatever's working at the time. And I tell my sons, you have to be adaptable. You have to be able to change, or uh, like the dinosaurs couldn't adapt. Of course, I don't think anybody can adapt to no sunlight or breathing dirt, but at any rate, you have to be adaptable in this world. You have to be able to kind of roll with the punches. I sent this guy a reply, and the reply had in it a link to the Tiananmen Square tank man. You remember the guy who stood in front of the tank in Tiananmen Square in China in 89? Sometimes God stands beside you, and there's no force on earth more powerful. But usually the tank wins. And the last time I tried standing in front of tanks, the tank won. And I wasn't doing anybody any good once I was out of health care. So these days I keep my head down and my mouth shut as much as possible. I have a lot of friends on MySpace. One of them is Congressman Ron Paul. I admire Ron a lot. And what he's done, what he's trying to do, I think he's a good American and he's trying to do what's right for all of us. I think he's a very concerned person. But I'm worried for his safety, as I am also worried for the safety of our president. No one is too big to be gotten been proven. Bill Clinton, Bill Gates, JFK, Aaron Russo. I don't stand in front of tanks anymore. I do admire those who do, and I pray for their safety. Looney Tunes! I grew up with Looney Tunes, and then became one stocks. Let's talk about stocks. Sprint. Kramer said don't buy Sprint right at the same day I said buy Sprint. And it went down. But now it's up and it's making money. And let me tell you, you know, Jim, in all fairness to Lord Jim, he's got 2,000 stocks in his head. I don't. But Sprint has 4G, and 4G is speed in this new wireless world that we're entering which is not just phones it's phones and internet service and communications and data and pictures and everything else going all over the place and back and forth speed is king and 4G is 10 times faster than 3G 
Everybody's scrambling to get their maps covered with 3G. Sprint's the only one with 4G. Do the math. So, Jim, checkmate. We'll see how it goes from here. But right now, Sprint's up. And if you'd have waited a couple days, you'd be doubling your money instead of just making money. If I tell you it's going to rain, get an umbrella. This market is full of all. In defiance of technical analysis and everything else, it just keeps going up. And people don't understand why. Well, that's okay. They didn't understand when it was going down why and how far. And, you know, and I'm not counting myself as any genius. You know, there was a time when I was a boy wonder and had a golden touch. And then for a while I was every, the same guy, but everything I touched turned brown. And now I'm lucky again. Thank you, God, for the blessings you give me. Gold. A lot of people talk about gold. Buy gold. Hold gold. Okay. You can't eat gold. Gold's not going to keep you warm. Gold's up, what, 20%? 20 percent? 20 something percent? DDR is up 300% percent this year. I think there are many, many investments better than gold. Now, if we, you know, if the monetary system goes to pot, well, maybe gold becomes the monetary system again. But there are people way ahead of you figuring out how you're not going to profit in that, and they will. So I would say go for stocks and don't worry about gold. In the coming year, with all the computers that will be given out at Christmas time and things like that, and all the new 64-bit systems and Windows 7 systems, I'm not buying Windows 7, you owe me two free systems, Bill Gates, for the junk you sold me called Windows Vista. And I had to buy it because I had bought two 64-bit systems last year, one for Julie and one for myself. But flash memory is going to be a big part of the future. Hard drives are gone. They're dead. Flash memory. You know those little cards you put in your camera? Four gigabytes? That's going to be the way we move stuff around in the future. And the players in that are ScanDisk, SNDK, and Intel, INTC. Those will be the ones that are going to be way out in front in the new market in the coming year. The music that you're listening to, the beautiful, beautiful Christmas music, the first one was the Harlem Boys Choir. Beauty is everywhere if you choose to look for it. So is ugly if you choose to look for it. It is our choices that define who we are. I choose to look for the beauty. In this holiday season, most of all, I want to wish all of you and your loved ones happiness. It's what I've always wished for my children. More important than anything else is your happiness, because if you're not happy, the other things that are really important, like health, don't matter. Secondly, I do want to wish for your good health and those of your loved ones to be healthy. And third, prosperity. I want you to all be prosperous. This music that you're listening to is all up on my YouTube website. So if you go to the if you're watching this on MySpace, go over to YouTube and um, com that's my Comcast high-speed internet that you hear letting Josh Groban blink in and out. <laughs> Thank you, Comcast. <laughs> uh, must be some technical problem. It's The Prayer by Josh Groban, but they're all up there. Enjoy them. Merry Christmas, everyone.